What is good guys? We are back at the sauce house. Update. Stowe's face is okay ish. Getting better. Dude, yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah. You're getting the yellow streaks on the side now. Ah, uh, okay. That's that's part of the healing process. Yeah. He's also making a bomb ass breakfast. Definitely not vegan. So we're going to Walmart today to get some shoes. I need shoes. I want to buy some really cheap ones, and I know there's like ten dollar skate shoes at Walmart. So time for a Wally World adventure. Let's get it. So Walmart apparently has these ten dollar skate shoes. I'm gonna test these things out, see if they skate all right. I kind of doubt they'll work all that well if they're only ten bucks. shoes that I'm really stoked on. First ones are these. Pretty solid. They're like, like the S's I already wear. They have like a rubber toe cap. Almost like the Murano's, but it looks pretty janky anyway. Uh, they're canvas on top, which isn't awesome, but with that rubber piece on the outside, they should be pretty damn good. There's these, not my size, but we're gonna try them out anyway. Canvas again, but they look like Vans. Like the Vans era or the Vans Authentic. I don't know which one it is. Basically the same shoe, just not the same brand. And these. Basically a van slip-on. Pretty hyped on these. These are my size. I'm totally gonna get these probably to chill in, but we're gonna try skating in them first. They're all less than 15. These are like eight bucks. These are seven bucks. These are 12. Holy cow. So we're gonna try these out, go to checkout, and uh, see if they don't skate well. I have a feeling they're not gonna skate all that well, but I could be wrong. In fact, I'm probably wrong, because I mean, they're basically the same shoes as other skate shoes, so. What's the difference? How much did you do it Uh This one, it was 600, I think. Did you? Yeah, it's a little older. This year, uh, hi B. Yeah, it's a job. Good job. <laughs> it's there. Have a good one. I got so many shoes. Oh my god. Peep these. Fabric's here now. And still, well, Stove was already oh. here. Now he's got a shirt on, though. <laughs> well, you have a Strauss family that. reunion shirt? Yeah. That is so dope. We, uh, we get together. Keep that bloodline strong. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. <laughs> Gabrick, of course, has the exact same shoes. How much were those, Gab? Or how much would you have paid if you had paid for them? If I saw these in the store, I'd pay, like, $40. $40 yeah. in store? Still pretty cheap for like a real so skate branded slip on. Like how much they are though. But those are $8.97. So granted, those are canvas versus suede, so they may not skate well. I mean, right? we live in LA, bro. We're trying to save money. Yeah, we some broke boys. Yeah, we some broke boys. But that's not our shtick. Being broke is not our shtick. We won't be broke forever. <laughs> not gonna be broke and then we're gonna crash and burn because we don't have any kind of content once we're not broke. All right, so I was gonna do this alone. I was gonna go and just knock this out on my own, but it's way more fun skating with my friends at the park. I figure I'll skate one pair and they'll skate the other pairs and we'll see how they stack up to our actual skate shoes. We all have more expensive shoes like the 50, $60 range that we always skate. We'll see how these $10 shoes really stack up to those. So for the last like two years, I've been skating the SXL Slim. S is the brand, they make this amazing little cupsole shoe. I'm not extremely picky with shoes, but I've been skating these for a very long time. I also know the guys who own the company, Don Brown and Pierre Andre are awesome. <laughs> Now in comparison to the Excel Slims, the $10 shoes are almost the exact same thing. I picked like the $10 equivalent. Uh, they look a lot shittier. Like I said, that rubber toe box is cool, but I don't know how well it'll actually skate, how it'll, it'll flick, and the sole seems very suspect. I'm gonna be skating these, though, and Gabrick will be skating the other two pairs.
it's not so much the shape of the shoe or like the way it fits or the soles, but the way that they have the flock on it. The like white mesh, the white like fuzz on the bottom of the shoe is really hard to skate on. It gives you less grip on the board. Whoa. It makes things a little bit harder to feel. And uh, well, I don't know, maybe it'll wear off quick. We'll see. On to the shove it test. They're not good by any means. It feels like two different kinds of shoes glued together. Cut you know, the bottoms off your favorite shoe and like the tops off your least favorite shoe and kind of just glued them together with crazy glue. It just feel kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> so if you guys haven't noticed, I have horrible kick flips. I do not brag about my kick flips ever. Kind of a little bit of wear on the outside. It's good rubber, it's grippy. But as you can tell, especially now that they're a little bit worn in, that flock is really thick. The sole of the shoe just looks like a fuzz fest. Look at that. It's like a teddy bear on the bottom of my shoe. It's horrible. So that doesn't grip much. It gets hard to commit with these shoes because as you're doing the trick, as a skateboarder, you don't always have your weight over the ball of your foot. Sometimes it's on the heel, sometimes it's on the middle of your foot, on the side, and you want the grip to be everywhere on the shoe. You want all of your shoe to be able to grip the board. Now, the rubber part, the part right here on the shoe, is really grippy. That being said, it probably wears out really quickly. You can see I'm already going through the grip fairly fast. Now this fuzzy part, the flock, that does not grip. And that is everywhere else on the shoe besides that little part of the heel. So because of that, as soon as I start putting my weight on, on the outside of my foot, say for 540 shove -its or whatever else, I lose grip immediately. And it's jolting, it kinda throws you off a little bit to the point where you're not as confident with your tricks. Confidence is key. You want to be able to throw something and know you're going to land on the board and know where the board's going to be. When you can't grip the board, you can't get a sense of where the board's going. It gets a little sketchy. It gets a little scary. So for that reason, I'd say I don't like these shoes. Uh, I, I wouldn't pick these up even if they were only 12 bucks. Otherwise, I mean, you can see with my feeble kick flips. I mean, it's kind of like a rubbery gym dodgeball material on the toe box, but it is by no means holding up like a rubber toe cap would. These are a pass. The uh, Excel knockoffs, 12 bucks. I'm gonna pass on him. Cool thing is uh, Stowe's got the other ones. Yeah, I know he will give those a good test, and Gabrick has the slip-on. Their shoes are almost exact replicas of what they're already skating. Let's take a look at those. That is Gabrick's current shoe. That is the slip-on we bought for what? Nine bucks? Uh, nine bucks. Yeah, that's a save. Save over here and a save over here. Little money over here, you get a save little money over here, and then you get the food. They feel kind of thin. It feels padded, it feels more weighed down as these feel like they're like light as a feather. You think it's a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, yeah, maybe I can flip my trick faster. Like, I feel like my dad would wear these. That was weird. Like sticky. Like super grip. Yeah, it feels like super grippy compared to my other shoes. How about a kickflip? You got a kickflip for me? Uh, cool. Holy crap. They're sticky, dude. Good. 
Two tray flips. How do they feel? Look at it. They're good, but look at it. It's already like. It's, it's already wearing away. Yeah. Oh, it's like super wearing away. It's like yeah. chipping. Do you think that's because of uh, how grippy they are? Yeah, is it just a really soft rubber? Maybe, yeah, because like maybe it's just so grippy. Like even though I've been skating this board for like three weeks, look at it. You can even see the lines. Like look at that like, right here. Oh, funny. Yeah, you gotta take into account it's like not fresh grip tape, right? Just imagine having fresh grip tape with these shoes. We're wrecking them right now. How much money would you be saving if you spend ten dollars a week for new shoes every week, and then you have a pair of new shoes? They last what two months, maybe? I would probably buy like once a week if I had these shoes. These like, would last a week for you? Like maybe a week. God, that. Those look so good. Is that just because of the grip? Yeah, I think. Fuck planes. You're ruining my audio. Damn, second try? Maybe you need these, man. Well, Stowe, you guys know Stowe. He's got the unique tricks and he's got the vans. Are those the authentics, technically? Surprisingly similar to the shoe you're wearing on the right. Very similar shoe. How do they fit for you so far? These, <laughs> these are definitely like, my foot just feels like it's surrounded by a dome of cardboard. <laughs> Am I kind of bouncing around a little bit? Probably not Compared secure. To these, they're very snug, okay. well fitting. You think you got some tricks in those? You want to do the shove it test first? Shove it test. They're just fine. Uh, those were shove it's, so uh, <laughs> how about some flip tricks? Let's do it. It just feels like I'm on a carpet, like. Oh, so you can feel it. You can really yeah, feel oh, it. Oh yeah, like. Oh yeah, you can see a little bit of fuzz. My board has pubes. Now. Hey man, it's it's going through a strange time. It needs all the support it can get, you know. Look, I've worn off the. F that came off quick. Yeah. Came, yeah, it feels like I'm standing on a carpet. You don't even have much grip on the bottom of the sole. It's like, it's like a millimeter deep. Flip tricks. It, th th there's no use in digging in. Really the only thing that's going on is my foot just feels very loose inside the shoe because yeah. there's no inner padding. My toes were just floundering. Like, yeah, that's it's not what's happening. There, there's, it's just like, there's a big dome inside. You can see my toes. Yeah. So would you, would you pick these up for 10 bucks if you had no other option? If, if it was my only option, <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. But, Last uh, resort. Let's hope that it never comes to that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe some freestyle. See how they freestyle. Nice little combo. Oh wow! Yeah, you can't grip the rail, right? Yeah, the rail had zero grip there. <laughs> right. Same for mine. I was like just just sliding all around. Went right off of the board there. It's just wood on carpet. Okay. Yeah, I mean, not really a problem there. How long Three. do you think those would last you? Maybe a month. If a I'm month? Lucky. Yeah. Just, like skating a couple times a week. How long do your usual shoes last? Shoe, shoes three to four months. Three to four. Depending on how how Damn. hard I'm skating. Uh, okay. You know. Yeah. Cool. Do you want to do some uh, park skating? Sure. Show us how they skate in the in, park. Uh, in these things, yeah. Now that you know you can't skate them, we'll make you skate even bigger yeah. stuff. Return them, or do you want to keep them? I mean, return them. Return. Yeah. We're gonna return them. Let's save your money back. Yeah. Hell yeah! Let's see if we can return them at Walmart. So probably not the best thing ever. I'm gonna go back to my S's. These guys are gonna go back to their supers they're riding. If you have a chance, check them out for yourself. It's only a ten dollar investment, but. If you go by our word, we would say stick with the shoes you like, supporting the companies that you like. These also aren't skate shoes that are owned by skateboarders. These aren't supporting skateboarding in any way. We put in the work and money so you don't have to. 
I would so much prefer skating with my friends than going to a session alone. And I think Alex, my other roommate, mentioned that we have some packages in the mail, or I have a package in the mail. It might be some more shoes, surprisingly enough, kind of fitting for today's adventure. That's what we walked in on. Focus. No, don't focus! Don't focus! Gabby lost my olive oil, so he's giving me a cookie, a vegan cookie. Super bomb. You're super bomb. I did get a box. It's from S. Alright, let's see what this box is. Thank you, S. Thank you, Soltech. Thank you, Don Brown, for being super supportive and super cool dudes. I just got the XL Slim. Got the black and white ones with the red hit. This is like the original colorway I think they came out with. Hell, a triple stitching along the toe box. Super clean. Black, white, red. The gum sole, the longest lasting sole I've ever skated. I've done a couple of like quick unboxing videos with these and I don't want to spend too much time going over them. If you want shoes, you guys like shoes, you like cup sole shoes that have a little bit more support but still give you board feel, I would highly suggest checking these out. Ask some good people. I'm gonna eat this food and I think I'm gonna go skate some more because I have not gotten my fill today. So that's the new way into the uh, training facility. Since I got kicked out that one day, they chained up everything, they locked everything up. I guess somebody came in and cut a hole in the fence, but yeah, it blocked off hockey rink, which no one uses. Like, there's no programs that run here. There's no like hockey events. This is wide open all the time. For some reason though, the YMCA does not like when people actually use it, even if we're just skateboarding and uh, not really doing any damage to this place. Whatever. More skating, less talking. camera in uh, 23 frames per second, so that's why there's no slow-mo. Sorry guys. Battery's gonna die, I'll see you back at the house. Oh my god, ah. Uh...